The members are reminded to abide by decorum of the House. That was the Georgia Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene trying to bring order on the uh, House floor yesterday. She called for decorum, as you heard, and then Democrats burst out to, in laughter because of her outburst. You're sitting here laughing, Bob. Listen, in Washington, there's a lot of fakeness. There's fake laughter. That was genuinely funny. That was, that was <laughs> I mean, Democrats and, 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 were like, what are you talking about? On both sides of the aisle. There were some Republicans Were there Republicans there, too? Yeah. yeah. They were laughing. But, you well, know, it's entertaining. Yeah. Well, it was a dead ceiling debate. And honestly, Republicans are getting the last laugh on that. They've already passed their bill. It's time for Biden to stop laughing and get to work. This is obviously deliciously rich, but what I will say <laughs> is every time you hear MTG, I'm going to look at the camera here, uh, how many bills has she passed? That's a question everyone at home should ask. What is the number zero? It's pretty know. close to zero. Pretty yeah. close to zero. Arena, last thoughts? I mean, I feel like this went down in history. Never before has a presiding officer of the House been laughed at by their colleagues in mass. I mean, so is it true. sexism? If she was a Democrat, the left would be saying sexism, sexism. It, the hypocrisy is not lost on me. Got to say, before we go, uh, we just announced uh, we're joined by Sean Spicer, a uh, new political contributor here on News Nation. Fascinating to hear what he had to say. Uh, fascinating to hear from Ken Cuccinelli. And Sean basically said, look, the delicate math favors Donald Trump. Not to say it's going to go that way, right. uh, but something to, to think about and consider here as Ron DeSantis launches his presidential campaign, and we all talk about it uh, for the upcoming months. It's going to be a long battle. It's going to be a long yeah. battle indeed. All right, well, uh, thanks for watching The Hill for all of you at home on News Nation. We'll be back tomorrow, 5 o'clock Eastern. Elizabeth Vargas Report starts right now. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.